Google Ads being Google Ads, Google Ads is doing what Google Ads always does in that once you get used to something, it quickly changes the way that things look and the way that you set up things inside of Google Ads. And unfortunately, that has also happened to Performance Max with Google Ads releasing some new options with setting up Performance Max campaigns. So to remove all confusion, what I'm doing is I'm releasing a new step-by-step -step video and how to correctly set up your Performance Max campaigns in 2024. Now I wanna stress that this step-by-step -step process that I'm gonna be taking you through is for setting up a Performance Max campaign with no shopping feed. So this is gonna be for service-based businesses, for online coaches, or for service as a software business. But if you are an e-commerce brand, I want you to go through and watch this video here because in this video is where I take you through how to set up Performance Max campaigns with a shopping feed. But before we get into that step-by-step -step process in how to set up Performance Max campaign for your service-based business, there are a couple of things that I do wanna clarify. Now with Performance Max, regardless of what your friendly Google Ads rep is ringing or emailing you about, I would not be starting Performance Max until you have these things in place. Firstly, you would start with search campaigns. And the reason for why you would start the search campaign is because you wanna see a couple of things happen. Firstly, you wanna know the best converting search terms. You also wanna get a clear idea on the best converting ad copies and also the best converting landing pages for your business. And then what you also wanna do is that you wanna hold off on starting a Performance Max campaign until you're getting a good level of conversions. Now, the reason for why that is so important is because you need to remember that Performance Max campaigns were created in order to find more conversions for your business. The way that it does that is that it looks at your current profile, so your current conversion profile, and it puts together a marketing persona or a customer persona for want of a better term. And so what that's looking at is it's looking at the search terms, also the audiences and the demographics that convert, and then it's going, well, we think that these people would convert too. The problem being is if you don't have enough conversion data, Google is just having to test and try different things, which can be really expensive. The benefit of search campaigns is you've got a lot more control over the different search terms and also the different audiences and demographics that your ads appear to. The question that I always get is, you know, how much conversion data do you need? A good rule of thumb is that you'd wanna be seeing 30 conversions every month before you start to think about adding in a Performance Max campaign. So realistically, you're gonna be having four to five months of data before you start a Performance Max campaign. Now, the benefit of that is that what this allows you to then also do is that you've got two tiers of your campaign where you've got your Performance Max campaign targeting on new customers and bidding for, for new people who don't know about your business or your brand. And you're focusing your search campaigns on those high buying search terms. So you're focusing on search terms where you know that you're gonna perform really well on. Now, the great thing about this strategy is that as you build out your exact match keyword list, if someone was to search that term, it's gonna target it in the search campaign, not the Performance Max campaign. So as you said, the way that we wanna structure this is that we've got search and Performance Max working together with your Performance Max focusing more on that top of the funnel, your search campaigns focusing on that bottom of the funnel. And it's the best strategy that we're seeing that's working right now. So with all of that said, let's get into the step-by-step -step process of how to set up your own Performance Max campaign. And if you do miss any of these steps, I want you to follow that link in the description below because you can get access to my Performance Max setup guide. Now, the one thing that I do wanna stress is that this is a brand new guide and it's specifically for, as I said, service-based businesses, online coaches, and also service as a software businesses. So basically any business that doesn't have a shopping feed attached to it. If you wanna get access to my updated campaign setup guide, just follow that link in the description below. All right, with all that said, let's jump on your screen share so we can go through setting up your new Performance Max campaign. Okay, so when you're in Google Ads, you wanna be going in and clicking on new campaign. Because we are a leads-based business, we wanna go through and select leads. And that will then bring up this prompt for you to select which conversions you wanna focus on. What you can do is you can go through and remove these conversions. So let's just say, for example, I don't wanna be using this to generate new subscribers for my YouTube channel. The reason why that one is added in there is because obviously I've linked up my YouTube channel to my Google Ads account. So that's gonna automatically show in there. We wanna remove that goal. I also wanna remove phone call leads. And for this one, I purely just wanna focus on my submit my lead forms and purchases. So the other thing that you need to remember with Performance Max for a service-based business is don't think that you need to focus on purchases because for me, I find greater success on using Performance Max to focus more on my lead forms, but that's because I've got a really robust high converting email funnel. So in this campaign, I'm happy just to focus on lead forms, but once again, if those purchases come through, 
I wanna get that data. With those other goals that I've removed, it's important to note I haven't removed them from the account. I've just removed them from this campaign so that when we go through and use a bidding system, it doesn't take those other conversions into account. So go through and click continue. Then we wanna click performance max. We do not wanna select this because we don't have a merchant center because we're a service-based business, so we can skip that. And what you then add in here is that I'll just go through and add in my URL. Now, if you've got an individual landing page that you wanna focus on, you can add that in here. I'm gonna add that later down the track, but that's just that information in there to start with. And we then wanna add in a campaign name. I'm always big in putting a really a clear name, which makes sense. So I'm just gonna write in here, I'm gonna abbreviate this down to Pmax Lead Generation. Once again, you can name it whatever you like, remembering that that's only gonna be internally, but just name it something that makes sense so that when you're seeing your different campaigns names, you know what each one is targeting. And now we've gotta make a choice as to whether we wanna be using a focus on conversions or on conversion value. Now, as I mentioned before, because in this campaign, I'm really just using this to focus on generating new leads. I'm gonna set it as conversions. But what I would also recommend is that you don't start with a target CPA or if you're using conversion value or target ROAS. And the reason for that is because your performance max campaign may convert at a different level to your search campaigns. And we just don't know that yet. So we just set it with no target to start with. The other thing is we wanna select this option, remembering when we're starting performance max, we've already got some functioning search campaigns. And ideally we've got those those converting at a high level. So what that also allows us to do is that we can also bid for new customers. Now you then go through and click to find this existing customer list. Now what I'm showing you in here, this is in a training account. So I don't have active audiences, but I will just show you through this process. So we've got this information in through here. Now what Google will do from there is that Google will assign a value. I wouldn't be too worried about it. The reason for that is because what it's looking at doing is it's just dialing up the value so that it can actually then knows to focus more on new customers. And we look, basically what we're saying is that these are the current customers that we do not want this new campaign to target. Then we click apply. And then when we're happy with that, we go through and click next. Now what we need to do is we need to go through and click our locations. Now the main thing that I would say is that I would group some of these similar locations together. So for me with this product, because it's not seasonal, because we don't have to worry about summer or winter or anything like that, I'm happy to put my top performing English speaking um, countries together, which is Australia. We're gonna go United States and also United Kingdom. The only thing that I'll just keep in mind, as I said, is you wanna keep similar languages together. And also as well, if you do wanna be able to control your budgets by country levels, you may wanna create different campaigns. Then it comes down to these extra options. So the only thing that I would say in through here is that if you do have some parts of your website that you don't want Google to target on, what you can do is you can go to your excluded URLs and you can write some rules in here. So let's just say, for example, I don't want Google to target my paid community, my paid Google ads community. What I would do in through here is I would would add this in here. And that way then I know that Google is not gonna target any ads for that landing page. So then we can go through and click apply. Then with the more settings, the other thing that what you can do as well is that if you want to add in your own brand to that brand exclusion. So let's just say from here, once again, I'm doing this just based off my, so we'd add Define Digital Academy. Now, because this isn't set up here, what I'm doing in through here is I'm requesting for this to be added. Just make a note here, it's gonna take four to six weeks for this to be reviewed. Then we click submit and we've now got that saved in there. Then we go through and click next. And now what happens in through here is that Google is going to give you options to set up your own assets. Now I'm going to use this option right now, but I'll show you what we're going to be doing later through here as well is because as I've recommended before is that we would already know from our search campaign, our best performing ad copies. And in fact, I've already got a Google ad sheet, which has already got my best performing headlines and ad copies. So if you don't have that, go to your search campaign and add that in through there. But right now I'm just going to go through to my sheet and add in some of these best performing headlines. Now, I would also recommend that you are going through and using all of these. But at the moment, I've just put in the top three or four. I would recommend that you add in a good 10 different headlines. And I'm happy with those. As I said, I would go back and add them in, but just for this perfect example, you would go through. But as I said, I would recommend that you go through to your current search campaign to find the best converting ad copies. Or if you're like me, you've already got this all structured and you've got this in a spreadsheet ready to go. Then we also go through and add in some different images. Now we've had some campaigns running already. So I'll just go through and select some of these different ones, which we know work. And then also as well, write in your name in through here. 
Now, when it comes to your videos as well, is the way that I do this is I upload some different ads into YouTube and then I just select the videos through here. You can also search any videos on YouTube, click save, then go through. As I said, I've already got my site links added. Then it comes down to this section, which is your signals and also your data. Now, with all of these audiences and search themes that you're adding, I do need to really stress that this isn't a targeting like search terms or exact match search terms. This is targeting like you're just giving Google recommendations. So the way that I would do this is that I would go into your Google Ads account and pick out your top 15 to 20 search themes which are generating conversions. So I'm just gonna put some in here that I know convert for us. But as I said, this is why you wanna start with search first. So you're, you're going into Google Ads, you're going into your search terms and you're copying those top performing search terms and adding them in into the search themes. Same with the data, we're adding in all of our different data points in through here, let's add a couple. And then also as well, we're adding in the best audiences. Once again, you're getting all this data from your search campaigns. And what we're doing in through here as well, remembering we're just trying to give Google as much information as possible, that Google will use this as recommendations. And then it comes to your budget. Now, when it comes to your budget, what I recommend here is that you start your Performance Max campaign somewhere between 25 to 50% of your current spend. So remembering we're starting with search. So this Performance Max campaign for me would be a new budget. So let's just say your search campaign is running at $60 a day. What we'd be doing through here is we'd be starting performance max somewhere with a budget between say $15 to $30. So let's just set this at $20, then go through and click next. And then Google will run your checks. And when you're ready, it'll have a option up here to publish your campaign. And that's the step-by-step -step process that you can use to set up a performance max campaign for your service-based business. Now remember, as I said, if you've missed any of those steps, just follow that link in the description below so you can get access to my Performance Max campaign setup guide. And now that you've got your campaign ready to go, you need to know how to correctly optimize your Performance Max campaign. And to learn how to do that, go through and watch this video right here. See you next time.